So when you were in school and, and you were writing stories, did you find immediately that you had an aptitude for it? I, I think I did. I, I, it was certainly... Um, I, I, I was failing at school kind of fairly miserably right from the word go, apart from in English... Because once I learned to read, as I say, I just, I, I kind of, I got it, you know, in the way that I never got maths, I never got geometry. Storytelling, language, I just, I don't know, I just kind of got it from day one. I didn't, I didn't work out from that that I wanted to be a writer. Because um, it, when I got to the age of about 14 and had the first idea from, from reading a novel in school and thinking, wouldn't it be great to do that? You know, wouldn't it be great to create in other people the feeling that this author that I'm reading is creating in me? And I associated that very much with uh, um, being secure and being safe and being in a world that had been made for me, you know, and escaping to that world, uh, which which reading gives you, you know, and you, you get rid of you, you, you can get away from your problems, you can enter that other world, you know. And it might be frightening in that other world, it might be terrifying in that other world, but you know you're in the world of a story, you're in the safety of the world of a story, you know. And I remember thinking, by this time, I'm in the, the, the bottom stream of a secondary school. It's not even a secondary modern, it's a county secondary, you know, it's not even got modern status. Mm. Uh, and I'm being groomed to go and work the local bottle factories in St. Helens, you know. Our class was taken to those factories to show us where we would be working when we left next year, you know. Mm. And I remember thinking, looking up and thinking, wouldn't it be great to be a writer and thinking, you're in the D stream of a secondary school headed for a bottle factory. Don't be ridiculous. And at, at that time, I looked, at, I guess, at the dust jacket of the book I was reading, and I saw a guy with a pipe and a tweed jacket and, you know, a beard and probably talk like that <laughs> and and they were like alien figures and if I'd gone home and said to my father you know I want to be a writer he probably would have said yeah and I want to be the king of England but where are you, where are you going to get a job and at that point was it novels that you were interested in writing well yeah 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 I mean I, I had no um I was an avid comic reader as a kid like most kids but I had no um and no facility for drawing, and I didn't think in, in those visual terms. It was linguistic terms, you know, that I, I thought it. I made, I made what I made with with words. Um, but no, the idea of becoming a novelist, I don't think I even allowed myself to think in in those terms. Because as I say, I, I you know, somebody with an accent as I had, you, you didn't write books. It was, you know, I didn't know that. There were such people, you know. Yeah. Um, and so what I did was uh, I found that the, the desire to write found its outlet um, in, in songwriting. That kind of writing could be done by people who had accents. It could be done by, if you like, working people. You know, you didn't need a degree. You didn't need the tweed. You didn't need the pipe to write a song. So the first form in which I started to express myself was song. Mm-hmm. And and first of all, it was, uh, you know, at that time, it was uh, Lennon and McCartney. Early songs are very much kind of moon in June, you know, um, rhymes and it's, it's boy-girl theme and what have you, which mm-hmm. is what most pop songs of the day were. But gradually, of course, um, probably through listening I- initially to other people do his song, Peter, Paul and Mary, uh, The Animals, uh, some groups I saw at the Empire... They were doing songs by this guy called, uh, as, as Eric Burden once described him when I first heard the animals do, um, Don't Think Twice It's All Right, he said, uh, we're going to do a song by a Bob Dylan. And I thought, who's Bob Dylan? So I remember going around town the next day trying to get records by Bob Dylan and <laughs> being looked at, and eventually a guy in a record shop saying to me, do you mean Bob Dylan, mate? And I went, oh, yeah, you know.